Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing excellent. Welcome back to another video on the RX-7 project. Before we get started today, I just want to take a quick moment to say thank you very much for being a subscriber. The channel's been doing incredibly well recently. We're still a small fry channel, but we're very encouraged by the growth and the feedback you guys are giving us. So thank you very much. Now let's get into today's project. Now today what we're gonna be working on is getting these blue seats black to match the rest of the interior. And we're also gonna be installing some of the functional parts of the interior, like the gauge cluster, the ECU, connecting the wiring so we can check out the wiring work I did in some of the previous videos and see if at least the chassis harness is up and running, test the lights, things like that before we move any further with the project. So let's get started with these seats. Now in the last video we put up, we did clean these very thoroughly with an extractor machine we rented from Home Depot. <clears throat> They're looking much better already. And what we're gonna do is try a fabric and vinyl spray paint on them to see if we can get these black because we do need to run the stock seats for just a little while while we save up money to get the right racing seats and try a few out. So first thing I'm gonna do is see if I can repair this rip in the seat. So I got a little, um, just a sewing kit from Walmart and I'm gonna try and glue in a piece of material back here to give us some meat to work with and then I'm actually going to sew this shut and see if we can make this look just a little bit better. Alright, so here we are. Try to move my shout out. There we go. So the rip is nicely closed. Um, obviously, it looks a little Dr. Frankenstein with the stitching here. If I wanted to, I could have gone underneath and then gone up on one of these stitches down back under, but I'm not that patient and hopefully it doesn't stick out as much when it's sprayed black. But anyway, this is going to look better than it started out looking as. So now we're just going to spray paint it black using our fabric paint. I got this kit off Amazon of course. It's a duplicolor set of fabric and vinyl paint right here. So we're going to give this a shot. Of course we're going to be the guinea pigs and if it works well we'll leave a link in the description below and if you click that link it helps us out a lot. So let's give it a shot. Rolling? Yep. Okay. Here goes nothing. So we start at the bottom and go to the top. We start at the top and go to the bottom. Uh, I prefer top to bottom, but bottom to top is always pre preferable too. It just depends. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm gonna try and apply this like regular spray paint where you do multiple light coats instead of just trying to like put it on like a Sharpie marker, I guess. Well, let's see, okay. The wind is not helping. Ooh, that was a good shot. Well, I think you found your distance. Yep.
right, so first impressions from the Duplicolor fabric paint. Uh, very pleased, actually. So you can see the seats behind me here. That is over three cans worth of paint and two and then some coats. So it looks good now. I'm going to let it dry. Obviously, it's nice and sunny out today. Beautiful, beautiful blue skies. So we're going to let that dry, see how it comes out while we work on some of the interior parts in the car, like I mentioned. And then we still need to do the back. So we'll see how it looks, if it needs any touch-ups, and then we'll lean these things forward and spray the back. Now in here, with the seats still out, I'm going to get behind the dash and hook up any as much wiring as I can but still we don't have blower motors or anything like that to go back in here and still have plenty of time to deal with uh, the center console and everything so if I miss something it'll be pretty easy and then we're gonna put the gauge cluster and stuff back on and the ECU these steering column dash bolts oof, are always a pain the dash has to be in, and then it threads up through the column, through this bracket, into the dash. And there's nowhere to put your hand. Luckily, these ratcheting wrenches make things a little bit easier. And this other side, it's a tight fit. It's a real tight fit. Oof. Okay, so I was able to get this mounted, and then I want to work on getting the gauge cluster in. So gauge cluster needs to connect to these guys and this is actually the physical speedometer cable. So that is a square piece of wire runs all the way down to the transmission and then it plugs into the back of the gauge cluster here and literally spins the speedometer because it's old school. So got to get that all connected in the back and then screw her in. Oh. Got her in. Looking pretty good. Always love this sticker. If you can see it. Warning. 92 or higher octane fuel only. Funny thing is we're here in California where 91 is the highest. So it's always been a little dangerous. But now it's going to be E85. Okay. So unfortunately I've already run into a pretty big problem. So this is the side connection for the pop-up lights, turn signals. And everything and it's supposed to come up through the dash here this side I have the connections coming around from here but on this other side I cannot find them behind the dash and I'm concerned that I've lost them through the process of working on the RX-7 and or they were like a separate small harness that connects to here that plugs into some of these open connections I have hanging around back here. So now I'm nervous because I've gone through my supplies and my old boxes of stuff and I can't find anything. So I'm not sure what to do. I guess I'll hook up the ECU and see what happens. All right, so hooked up the ECU under there got this part in now remember this is connected this isn't so unfortunately this is not doing anything I got to figure out what I'm missing for that side but here's the good news oh we got power those are on and let's see if it catches it on camera yep you can see back there the turn signal lights on both sides are flashing so hey that's something so obviously very frustrating not being able to get other side of the harness connected. I really wanted the finale for this video to be the pop-up headlights coming up. However, the fact that the emergency blinkers work and that we're getting power with the relocated battery right here, um, it does give me some hope, but I gotta figure out what the hell I did with the rest of that harness or something. It's around here somewhere, but I've got so many parts and so many bins. Anyway, now let's go take a look at those seats, see how they're doing. Ooh-wee! These look pretty damn good. Wow, okay. So that's two solid coats over them. I like how there's still a bit of a two-tone effect. And the paint did leave kind of a texture almost, so it's going to look really good with the flock dash. I'm just trying to see if any of it gets on my fingers. 
kind of crispy. Nope. Oh, these are hot. They've been sitting out in the sun. So. Uh-oh. Gotta touch that up. Let's see what we can do about getting in there. But, overall, looks great. Okay, I've been digging around down here, and luckily I actually found it. But let me show you where it was. So my brother and I looked up what the harness actually looked like, and I was we came to one of these blue plugs. And I said, hey, both the blue plugs are full. And I noticed that this plastic was broken, and there's a mount that's supposed to be up here, and so there's a cord that was running all the way behind the brakes under the carpet, and voila, the harness we need. So let's get this connected and see if we can do some pop-up headlights. Give her a good flip. Ooh. I hear beeping. I don't know why it's beeping. Turn signals aren't working. Ah. Okay, well that's a good sign. Oh, so the seat project's going well. They've dried up nice and quick since it's so bright and sunny out today. Jeff, you ready to help me install these? Yep. Cool. Kalua has found the mailman. Kalua has found the mailman. test to prove our worth getting the last seat bolt in after I'm very sweaty after wrestling with the seat yep it just popped out and you gotta get the driver's side in oh my god I know the driver's side is notoriously a pain but we did fix that bolt hole that gave us trouble for so many years that's true but I tap these ones too, and it's still just, you know, it's got to be a tight fit to hold you in place so you're safe, but, I mean, there's a limit how much safety you need, because this is ridiculous. Let's see if I got it. Hope you all heard that. When you ride in this car, your life doesn't matter. There we go. Okay. Now the only person who's going to sit in it is a midget. It's a midget seat, yeah. Um, you want me to hand me that screwdriver? It's on top of the plastic tub over there. Let me see if I can put this seat back. What are you doing? What are you doing? You helping? You helping? What are you doing? No. Ah, there it baby. is. Now it'll fit me. Okay, let's just leave it there. Forever. Whew. Well lit in place, we're done. Whew. All right, that's one of two. We'll get these seat bolts out and we'll carry the other one over. This driver's side seat is a pain in the butt. At least it goes back and forth, but it sucks to get in. So, if I remember, the front two bolts aren't that bad. But, so this is going to be a tough one to get in. Impact, maybe. But it's going in, so that's good. We did nothing! Things were dead! Thank goodness. And there's a sword on Billy's arm. Just... Whoever's watching this video going, Oh my god, they're just putting in seats? Shut up! This is hard work. Did I hear the red pop? Nope. That means it's in? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All 
right. Seats in the RX-7. How about that? They look good. How do I look? Sweaty? Yeah. A bit angry. I feel sweaty. Feel like you need to get drunk. <laughs> oh boy. Give her give her a seat. Okay. See if it reminds you how it used to be back in the day. <sighs> soon enough. Well, it can't be soon enough. This has been a long project, but getting there little by little. Your battery's unplugged. Alright, well, I think that's it for today. Please remember, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.